Today, we're talking about ChatGPT and how to turn it into your own personal assistant. Because the truth is, most people are using it completely wrong. They ask a question, get a basic answer, and move on. That's why they only ever get shallow, generic outputs. I'm gonna help you fix that, but I'm not here to give you a random list of prompts to copy and paste. That's not what you need. What you need is to supercharge ChatGPT so it remembers your context, organizes your week, and manages all of your tasks. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step. And by the end, you won't just understand ChatGPT better. You'll have a personal assistant ready to work for you 24 seven. I know this works because I've tested it in my own life. I use it to manage college content and a full-time job all at the same time. Productivity systems are all I think about, and this has to be one of the most powerful ones I've ever built. So let's jump straight into how most people use ChatGPT and why you're probably missing the mark. You ask something simple, you get the answer, and then you move on. Now, technically that works, but it's like using a car purely for storage. Sure, you can do it, but you're missing 90% of the power. Here's what I mean. When I give ChatGPT a prompt like, make me a to-do list for the week. Sure, it's gonna give me a to-do list, but it's gonna forget the prioritization. It's not gonna organize it for me, and it's not even gonna make a calendar for me. It's just gonna give me a basic output chart. There's no personalization that people walk away thinking ChatGPT just wasn't that useful but here's the truth the power comes when you stop treating it like a search box and start prompting it like a system and once you do that properly it transforms from a Q&A tool to a 24 7 personal assistant step one is context ChatGPT is only as good as the information you provide to it so if you treat it like a blank slate every single time you're gonna continuously get generic outputs follow along and fill in this checklist with me we're gonna be using the personal profile prompt now, this is the longest one I'm going to be sharing with you, but it's the most crucial to make sure ChatGPT understands you and what you value most. Before I get into that, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So you're going to write, ChatGPT, I'm building out a personal profile for you to remember. I'm currently a student, a worker, a content creator, whatever applies to you. Here are my main responsibilities. Then you just go ahead and list those out. Then you say, these are my short-term goals. You give him two to three that you want to accomplish within the next week. Then you provide your long-term goals. Again, two to three that you want to accomplish over, let's say the next year. Then you're going to put what your daily habits actually include. This helps give it a better picture of who you are. Then you wrap it up by saying, from now on, whenever I ask you about planning or productivity, use this profile as your guide. And if you're unsure, check with me. Now that you gave ChatGPT all of this context up front, it knows everything it needs to about you. That's the foundation for transforming ChatGPT into an actual assistant. But there's five more steps to make sure we can supercharge it even more effectively. Step number two is organization, because the truth is mental clutter is the enemy of productivity. If you're juggling everything inside your head, you're guaranteed to forget things and miss deadlines. You're also not gonna be as effective with the work you're putting in. So the next step is dumping all your random projects to-dos, assignments, deadlines into ChatGPT and allowing it to organize them for you. So you just say, ChatGPT, here's my full list of tasks. Then you're gonna paste everything you wrote down. Ask it to organize your task in particular categories, depending on the information you provided. Then rank them by urgency and importance, and if possible, assign deadlines. By the end, you're gonna have an entire organized task list that you can look at. It turns chaos into clarity. Instead of a random messy to-do list, you're gonna have everything with deadlines, priorities, even urgency ratings. That's how you're gonna transform overwhelm into an actionable plan. Now this next step is super exciting. It's where ChatGPT becomes better than any static planner. It can literally dynamically plan around your entire life. While regular calendars force you to plug in tasks consistently, ChatGPT will automatically build these time blocks for you. So take your prioritized list from step number two and prompt it like this. Take my top priorities and deadlines for the next week and then build me a daily schedule. Include 60 to 90 minutes for deep work, my three most important tasks of the day, and include buffer times to allow me to relax. And just like that, instead of seeing what to do, you're going to see exactly when you need to do it. That's the key shift. ChatGPT is no longer a task manager. He's a true time manager for you. Step four is execution, and this is where most people fall off. They build this extensive plan, but they don't follow through. This is where ChatGPT separates itself from any other productivity planning software. Rather than just making your plan and leaving it at that, ChatGPT can actually be a daily assistant that helps you get through every single task. It can sit next to you like an actual partner and help you accomplish anything you need to. Now, I'm going to provide you three different prompts that I know you will find useful. Number one is for any deep work you have. This can be schoolwork. This can be actual work, anything you need to get done. 
you're gonna say I have 45 minutes for whatever task you need to complete can you break this down into a step-by-step -step list with time estimates this will allow you to have a literal guided list of how you're gonna get your task done in whatever amount of time you have number two is for when you're writing emails or any messages you're gonna send over whatever you're working on and you're gonna say here's my draft then ask ChatGPT to clean it up keep it concise and suggest three major improvements. If you do that, you're gonna transform your emails to something much better with such little effort. Then number three is a problem solving prompt for whatever you're working on. You're just gonna say, I'm stuck on this specific problem and provide a little bit of context. Then you ask it to show you two different approaches to finding the best solution. This will give you two different methods to solve the most confusing problems. So instead of ChatGPT just telling you what to do, it's now showing you exactly how to get it done. It's no longer a task manager, a time management calendar. It's truly a daily assistant. It's like having a project manager, a coach, a planner, all in one, not just helping you, but actually executing with you. Now let's move into step number five. This is a quick step, but it's all about keeping your system alive. Because here's the truth. No matter how good your plan is, no matter how good your execution is, life happens. Tasks get missed, deadlines get pushed back, and things do get hectic. If you never stop to recalibrate your plan or your execution, you're going to continuously drift off course. So at the end of every day, you're going to use this exact prompt. All you're going to say is give me a two minute daily reset. Ask what I completed, what I missed, and based on the information I give you, regenerate a new day tomorrow. In two minutes, you can clear your head, reset the slate on anything you missed, and walk into tomorrow ready to dominate. That tiny check-in prevents small mistakes from snowballing into something major. Okay, we're now on the final step, step number six, and this is the most important out of all of them. Make it permanent. Because right now, you're probably thinking, sure, all of this looks awesome, but do I really have to paste these prompts every single time? Well, thankfully, the answer is no. And this is where ChatGPT truly becomes a fully automated assistant. You have two options, depending on whether or not you wanna purchase the pro subscription. Option number one is the pinned prompt or the saved chat. Save your personal profile and any key prompts in one pinned chat. That way, anytime you need to use ChatGPT, you instantly can open the app on your desktop or your phone and have access to everything all at once already ready for you. Your assistant is going to stay trained on your goals, on who you are, and it's going to help you continuously execute at a high level. Now, option number two is custom GPT. This is if you have ChatGPT Pro like I do. You have the option to create your own personal assistant based on the custom GPT. Just paste in your personal profile, your goals, even the exact daily two-minute routine you follow. Name it something like My Assistant and it's gonna remember everything on an even faster level, allowing you to constantly adapt based on this profile of AI. It's like building your own startup AI completely on their software for only about 20 bucks a month. I don't believe you can find that value or that usefulness anywhere else. Now, instead of starting from scratch every single time, if you made it all the way to step number six, your assistant is gonna remember. It knows your context. It knows your routines, it knows your habits, and all of that will allow it to help you execute even more efficiently. That's the difference between using ChatGPT like a toy and having it become a supercharged personal assistant. So let's recap. Now you know how to prompt ChatGPT like a system, not a search box. It's not a chatbot anymore. It's truly become your own personal assistant. One that remembers, organizes, and executes like the top 1%. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. All I do is give you videos that help you stay more organized, more productive, and more efficient. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.